Hello, in this video we're going to cover the design resolution that you can set in Cocoa Studio. The design resolution is something that is extremely important as it also has an impact on the coding you do inside your Cocos project, whether that's Cocos 2 dx or Cocos 2 djs the, the design resolution is the area that is visible for a particular node, whether it's a scene or just a node. You can change the size easily using pre-programmed sizes. Uh, so if I just go here, if you're using an older version, you might not actually see names next to the sizes, basically indicating what device they're trying to emulate and copy. But if you use an old version, just update or just continue using it. It's pretty simple. So yeah, you can use a, a predetermined size or you can set your own stuff. So I do custom size and I can just click add set a name and width and height and obviously there's a few other properties here but again we only want to deal with the resolution section so the design resolution is the black canvas right here and this is what your application will show to the user you for the most part want to have the same design resolution inside your application in terms of how it's coded and the same design resolution set in Cocoa Studio. We're not going to show you how to set the design resolution in Cocoa Studio X or Cocoa Studio JS in terms of code because it's different for both. And we'll have a link in the description taking you to our Cocos API guide, which shows all that for Cocoa Studio JS and Cocoa Studio X. And like I was saying, the black area is the visible canvas. So if I were to change this to 480 by 320, as you can see, it shrinks in size, 960 by 640. Obviously I can move it around, zoom in and out. And what I'm gonna actually do, not running on Windows, just run it within the actual Cocoa Studio itself. So I'll just get basically blank. And now I'm going to drag on a, no, actually I'll drag on this. So this is a sprite. And I'm just gonna reduce the size a little bit. So as you can see, there are there's a few black bars around it. Now I'm going to click run. As you can see, I'll run it. But if I were to put this here, so half of it outside of the design resolution and half of it is within the design resolution, aka the black canvas, and I click play, I can only see the part that's on the black part. Anything on this checker part, you cannot see. So just bear that in mind. It's a very powerful technique because you could have objects off the screen, maybe enemies, they spawn there or they're already there, maybe a menu item, you got something animating and they come in, but just bear that in mind. Now what I'm gonna do is just change the orientation, so you can change the orientation as well. So if I change it from landscape to portrait, these resolutions also change as well, which is really, really cool. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, what should I switch it to? Switch it to this. But what it does, if you notice, it only changes the resolution that you was on. So I'm on 1136 by 640. If I change that, that changes to 640 by 1136. But the one below it, which is iPhone 6, 1334 by 750, still remains at 1334 by 750, which is landscape mode. And the principle is the same with this as well. Only what's on the black area is visible. Another thing that's great about this, you basically have two things that you would use this design resolution in Cocoa Studio for. One, to check how it looks on different devices quickly, and two, to actually set the design resolution that you want to work with. So for example, to um, show you how you can just check different design resolutions, I'm just going to put this, oh no, here. And I run this, and this is at the 640 by 1136. And I want to see how it looks, I don't know, on iPhone 6 Plus. I do landscape mode, I click play. And I'm looking, I'm like, oh, that does not look good at all. And the reason it doesn't look good is because it's, it's positioned it based on pixels. You can change it to percentage, and you can also use this pin in mode as well, which is fantastic. So I can get some good quality center positioning. And this should do what I want it to do. Now, so if I run that, that's at the top. And if I were to click X, go to 640 by 1136, as you can see, it's still at the top. 
I'll run that, it's still at the top, and now I'm going to go to an old, old star, 3GS, and I go to landscape, it's still at the top, but obviously the actual object itself is too big, but again, you would counter that with getting an appropriate asset for that. So yeah, that's what the design resolution is. It's this black, oh, let's zoom in so you can see it better. So it's this black area right here. This is what the user will be seeing. It is very crucial. You're always gonna be using it. If you have a node, it won't be black. It'll just be checkered and whatever you add to your node, AKA if I were to right click, new file and go on to a node. I'll just quickly create one. In a later tutorial, we'll go over it a bit more. As you see, it's just checkered and any items that I actually add on to here create the size of my node. And that would be the, well, the canvas size. So yeah, the canvas size, something that you really want to familiarize yourself with. I said canvas size, you can call it design resolution, whatever you want, design resolution is the term that Cocos 2 dx uses. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. And like I said, there'll be a link in the description to our Cocos API guide, which goes over the code to change design resolution in your project itself. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.